Hey friends, today we are going to discuss the two methods that you can use in Microsoft Excel to summarize and analyze your complex and huge data. This is the table or data that we are going to use in today's tutorial and these are the questions that we got from our manager that we need to get answers from this data. So what we will do, we will summarize this data, we will analyze this data and we will try to find out answers of these questions. So these questions are for trucks performance and these questions are to find out drivers performance. So what we will do first of all we will use first method to get answers of these questions and then we will use second method to get answers of these same questions. And at the end we will also conclude that which method is better which method you should use to summarize and analyze your data in Excel. So let's begin our tutorial. So as we said this is the data that we will be summarizing and analyzing in today's tutorial. So it is most important that we have some idea that what this data is all about and what is included in this data. If we see heading of this data, this is the trips report for month of July 2023. If we see here these are the truck numbers with the drivers and these are the trips that these trucks has been completed on these dates and these are the revenues that these trucks have been earned by doing these trips on these dates. So now what we will do we will use the first method to summarize and analyze this data and to get answers of these questions. The first method that we will use is by using formulas. We will use excel formulas and functions to get answers of these questions. So if we go to the trucks performance we will see here the four questions. The first question is we need to find out the trucks that worked in this month of July. The list of trucks that worked in July that means we need to find out the trucks who worked in this month of July. Then we need to find out number of trips completed by each truck. We need to find out the trucks and then we need to find out how many trips are completed by each truck. Then we need to find out revenue earned by each truck and at the end of trucks performance question we need to find out average revenue earned by each truck per trip. So in order to make our data or our questions uh, more presentable we can change these questions into a table. So first question is we need to find out trucks so we can simply write here trucks. Then second question is better we can write here truck number. And second question is number of trips so I think we can write here number of trips. Then third question is revenue earned by each truck we can write here revenue earned. And then fourth question is average revenue per trip. We can write here average revenue. So this is the table for our first problem that is trucks performance. We will also do the same. We will create a table for our second part. So as we have been changed these questions into table so I think it is better we just hide these questions and we can start working on these tables. So now what we need to find first of all we need to find the truck number. To find truck number you can see these are all the truck numbers. These are the trucks with trip dates and trip locations that worked in month of July. What we will simply do to because you know here any truck may have has been repeated many times because maybe one truck has been done 15 trips 10 trips so in order to get truck numbers actually who worked in month of july we can simply copy from here this list of trucks we can just select this full list we can copy and we can paste simply here so to in order to remove duplicates and to get the unique values we can simply go to data tab in data tab we can go to remove duplicates and expand the selection no we want to continue with the current selection we can uh, just select this option remove duplicates and here we go this is the answer of our first question that is we need to find out uh, trucks who worked in month of july so these are the trucks who worked in month of july 
then number of trips to find out number of trips completed by each truck what we will do we will just use count if function why we are using this count if function this count if function will actually count how many times this truck has been repeated in this table so what we will do count if function range what is range this is our range from which we want to count we will just select this full list then we will go back to the formula then we will just insert the comma next thing is criteria this is criteria from this range we want to calculate we want to just count based on this that in this criteria in this list this truck number has been repeated how many times so i will just close the bracket i will press enter and here we go you can see that this truck number has been repeated eight times that's mean this truck has been completed eight trips in month of july so what i will do now i will just freeze this range i will just use f4 button to freeze this full range i will press enter and then i will just simply drag it down so these are the trips completed by each truck we can just simply cross check this we can just add this full list we will use alt alt and equal key and this will sum the full list and here you can see total number of trips completed in this month of july is 338 if we just cross check this number with this full list if we go down you can see this total list includes 338 lines so we will go back to find out the answer of our third question revenue earned to find out uh, total of revenue earned by each truck what we will do we will use sum if function because sum if function will sum this revenue based on this criteria so what we will do range so this is range we will select this full list of trucks we will go back to our formula we will insert here comma then criteria from this range we want to find this truck number so this is our criteria i will select this truck number then again comma now sum range what we want to sum from this range we want to find out this truck number after our formula find out this truck number in this range then what we want to do we want to sum from this list that is revenue because we want to uh, calculate total revenue and so we will just select this full range we will not include this total figure we will just close parenthesis enter and it will give us total revenue earned by this truck we will again just freeze these ranges some range and this range we will use f4 to freeze this range we will press enter and now we can drag it down and here we go you can see this is the revenue earned by each truck if we if we want to just cross check we will go down and we will use some formula again we will use alt and equal sign button to sum up this total revenue and now what we will do we will just compare this 30 uh, 384059 total revenue we will just compare with this simple total and here you can see this is the exactly same figure that we got from the formula so we have got answer of our third question now fourth question average revenue what is average revenue earned by each truck per trip so what we will do to find out the average this is the simple formula we will just take uh, revenue earned we will divide by total number of trips and we will press enter and this is the revenue average revenue earned by this truck per trip for each trip this truck has been earned 857.5 us dollar so we will just simply drag this formula down and here we go we can simply just make our table more presentable we can just add some border and maybe in heading maybe we can fill the cells the same we can do for this our second case that is to find the driver's performance i will not complete this table i will give link in description below for your practice to work on this table so we have been summarized and analyzed this data and got answers of the questions that manager gave us using our first method that is use of formulas and functions in excel so now we will try using our second method to get answers of the questions 
that is use of pivot table to insert the pivot table we will just go to the insert tab in insert tab we will just go to the pivot table options when we will click on pivot table options we will have this window and we need to select our full data then we will just keep this option active that is the new worksheet because we want to insert we want to create pivot table in our new worksheet we will just go for ok then what i will do i will just simply copy the questions that manager gave us and just bring in this sheet where we are going to create the pivot table so we have these questions in front of us so i will just copy these questions i will just paste these questions here now what i will do i will just try working on this pivot table the first question is list of trucks that worked in month of july what i will do i will just pick from here truck number and will drop here in rows you will see that here we have fields that is truck number driver name trip location trip date trip revenue and at the first this is serial number these field names are exactly the same that we have here columns in our original data the first question as we need to find truck numbers that worked in month of july we simply picked this truck number field and dropped in rows and you can see here we have all the trucks who worked in month of july so this is the first answer of our first question then second question is number of trips completed by each truck what we will do again we will just pick this truck number and we'll drop in values and you will see that here this truck number has been changed into count of truck number that's mean this field has been calculated that how many times this truck number has been repeated that is indirectly answer of number of trips that this truck has been repeated how many times in this table so now third question is revenue earned by each truck what we will do as we need to find out revenue earned by each truck we will simply pick from here trip revenue and we'll drop here in values you can see this is total revenue earned by each truck here you need to make sure because we need to find out total or sum you need to make sure that with this field should be sum you can see here it is sum in place of sum if let's say if it is maybe somewhere, somewhere count or average it will not give you the correct answer you can see it is count of trip revenue that's mean that this truck has been repeated this times so we need to make sure as we need to find out total or sum we need to make sure that this revenue field should be summed not the count so here we have answer of our third question that is revenue and by each truck now the fourth and last question of trucks performance is average revenue by truck per trip so what we need to do again we will because this fourth question belongs to revenue again we will pick revenue and we'll drop here in values now we have another revenue field but here as we need to find out average we will just right click here and we will go to the summarize values by average when we will click on average you will see that this will give us average revenue by this truck per trip so maybe we can just arrange a little bit i will click here and you will see now we have 986.86 dollar this truck has earned as average per trip so we have got answers of our first problem that is trucks performance similarly you can do the same for drivers performance just let's calculate it quickly what we will do we can simply copy the same pivot table i will just select the full pivot table i will just copy it and maybe i will paste it here and now what i need to find as this belongs to drivers so i will just quickly remove all these fields from here so we will start working the first question is list of drivers that worked in month of july as this belongs to driver names we can simply pick driver name and drop in rows you will see that we got these driver names then next number of trips completed by each driver simply we will just pick driver name and drop in values this will give us count of drivers that's mean this driver name has been repeated how many times that's mean this driver has been completed 14 trips this 14 trips and similarly this one we can say 15 trips then next question is revenue earned by each driver as this belongs to revenue we can simply pick revenue from here and drop here and make sure here should be sum 
If it is sum, that means it will give us total revenue earned by each driver. Now the last question is average revenue by trip. Again, we need to do this. We need to pick revenue from here and drop here. But this time we don't need to find the total revenue. We need to find average revenue. To find average revenue, we will simply right click on this revenue field. We will go to summarize by average. And here we go. You will see that this is average revenue earned by this driver. We can just arrange it a little bit and we got answers of these four questions. So we have been solved these two problems. We have got answers of these all the questions by using our two methods. The first method was use of formulas or functions and second method is use of pivot table to get summarized our data and analyzed our data. So friends, it is quite clear that use of pivot table is much better in order to summarize and analyze our data in Microsoft Excel. Hope you like this video. If you like this video, please don't forget to give thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel Microsoft Office Tutorials. Also, don't forget to share this knowledge with your friends. Thanks for watching. See you in next video. Bye bye.